Hi, my name is Daniel Levis. I'm a, I'm a father of five, I'm an engineer, um, and I'm also a NASA astronaut, mission specialist. From the age of seven years old, I've always wanted to be an astronaut. And my particular background and my passion is actually in the area of engineering. And I always knew that if I followed my passion, eventually I could achieve my goals and my dreams. And as I was in school, I studied, I tried hard. I had a lot of success, but I also had a lot of failures. And I tried to learn from my failures. And as I grew, and as I learned more, I realized that I would one day accomplish my goals of, of becoming an astronaut. I came into the astronaut program in 1998, spent nine years uh, working really hard, trying to satisfy the, the key elements of the agency, and eventually, in June of 2007, I flew on my first mission. I had an opportunity to actually float around in space and eat food in space. You slept on the wall, on the ceiling, on the floor, upside down, right side up. And I was even privileged enough to do two spacewalks, putting some pieces up for the International Space Station. But for me, one of the most fascinating things about my flight was looking at the beauty of the Earth below, as well as looking at the stars and beyond. And I do remember being on the space shuttle and looking out into the deepness and the blackness of space and seeing galaxies. And it made me really realize that there's a lot in God's creation. And we're just a very, very small part of it. I felt humbled at how small we really are, but I felt excited at the opportunity that God has laid before us in the entire universe. At this time, I'm a catechist at St. Anne's uh, Parish here in Houston, Texas. I wanted to make sure that my children understood the values and the, the moral guidance that uh, being a Catholic provides to, to a person as they're, as they're growing up. In the same respect, I felt it was important for me to be able to give back to the community, to engage in the young people so that they could appreciate from the path that I took some of the, the, the benefits to, to staying true to your faith and to having God walk with you every day, of the, every day of your life. Being Catholic helped make me who I am today, from guiding me both morally and ethically when I was young to helping me make decisions as I grew older. I'm a, I'm a father and I, and I have five wonderful children and I'm happily married and I use my faith every single day not only in my personal life but also in my career. When I had an opportunity to experience all of God's glory during my flight, it made me truly appreciate how wonderful God is and all the gifts that He's given to me. And it's made me realize that I have to understand that we have a, a purpose in this, in this life. And my purpose is to continue to be a good father and to be a good husband and continue to be a good worker and continue to be a good astronaut. Discovery. Captain The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Rick Sturko, joined on the flight deck by pilot Kevin Ford, flight engineer Jose Hernandez and Pat Forrester. Seated down on the mid-deck are Nicole Stas, Christopher Fugelsang, and Danny Olivas. 